Okay, so this next song, another happy song, is Happy Together by the Turtles. And uh, probably you've heard it. Uh, it's been in like commercials, it's been in movies, it's uh, quite a famous song. So anyway, I was just figuring it all out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Figuring it all out and how to play little bits on ukulele and stuff. And it's pretty simple, but not as simple as I thought it was. <laughs> so I ended up like scrawling it, scrawl, scrawling it all out on the back of an envelope that uh, my wife had down here in her office and ran out of space so I'm like writing it like up the side with arrows to the next part so uh, just bear with me and we'll get to it so happy together uh, the beginning of it has a little single note thing um, Pretty simple. It's based on a uh, F sharp minor chord. So you could also do the like chord and be like, you know. Yeah. I kind of like that. So what I'm doing is instead of the full F sharp minor, uh, which would be starting on the G string, 2nd uh, fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret, then the open A. I'm just playing the 1st fret on the C, the 2nd fret on the E in the open A. And then I, with my thumb, I play the C string, which I'm holding down at the 1st fret, and then pluck the other two. So instead of the little melody bit is, is a little doo -doo 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 -doo. Now I'm adding a little bit of uh, the chord in there. So. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll write it out. It'll uh, be in there. Uh, so, fairly easy though. Hopefully I, that made sense the way that I uh, explained it. So, and then the single note. And that's the intro. Uh, so let me write that down. Okay, so that I'll remember to type it all out for you. Uh, so then we have the first verse. So it's F sharp minor for two measures. So the. Then E. And I like to play the E um, this way with my, usually I like this anyway, but my pinky up on the 7th fret. And for this song, there's a, a good reason why I'm going to do that. So you'll see in like 40 seconds. <clears throat> so I'm firing at the 4th fret and my pinky at the 7th for the E. So <clears throat> then to D, just slide everything down 2 frets. Then C sharp, slide everything down one fret. And that's why I like that. Because although you could do the E, 4, 4, 4, 2, and then D, 2, 2, 2, 0, then the C sharp, you now suddenly have to jump to that. And if we're already there, I think it makes things easier. Um, especially come from the F sharp minor, because no matter how we play the E, we have to move kind of everything. Okay, so the verse is, the first verse is actually a double verse. So it's
Then we have F sharp. Okay, so we're um, ending with the C sharp, so we're barring at the uh, first fret, and then all we have to do is stay barred at the first fret and move to the third fret on the G, second fret on the E, and we have the F sharp. And then C sharp minor. So, uh, barring at the third fret and, uh, sorry, fourth fret, three strings, fourth fret, and on the G, uh, the sixth fret. So C sharp. Uh, actually, it's a C sharp minor. Does that sound good? Yeah, we'll do that. So that makes it easy. Um, just barring at the fourth fret, the whole thing, C sharp minor. Because um, that's what it is in the song. That's what I heard, so I wrote down C sharp minor. Uh, yeah, that sounds better. Uh, I don't know why I doubt it myself. And then the F sharp again. A. And then it repeats. And then the verse, but this time, now for the rest of the song, the verses are only one time. So, F sharp minor, E, D, C sharp, then to a chorus. Now we go to a bridge. Okay, <clears throat> so it's very similar to the chorus, uh, but there's a slight change at the end. So it's F sharp. F sharp minor seven, uh, C sharp minor seven, F sharp, A, F sharp, C sharp minor seven, F sharp, C sharp minor seven, C sharp minor seven again. So it's twice. Then it goes to sort of a partial verse. It starts off as a verse, so, um, so F sharp minor, E, D, and now it does go to C sharp, but I think of this as now the beginning of the outro, rather than the ending of the verse, and you'll see why right now because it goes C sharp, F sharp minor. So instead of going C, for two, C sharp for two measures, it's C sharp for one measure, and then right to the F sharp minor. But then, the outro is C sharp for one measure, then the F sharp minor for one measure. <clears throat> so if we include sort of the ending of that verse as the beginning of the outro, then we're playing that two chord pattern eight times. So to me, eight seems like it's like a complete section because, you know, twos and fours and eights are all good and sixteens are all good in most uh, music, pop music type stuff. So the outro is C sharp for one measure, F sharp minor for one measure, eight times. So. to seven, I jumped, eight. Now the ninth time is one, two, three, four. 
So it's C for one measure, one, two, three, four, but then it goes to F sharp, not F sharp minor. It just holds, and that's it. So that is the whole song, okay? So I'm just looking at my totally messy notes, and I think that is everything, okay? So easy enough. And again, um, this one definitely I write down all the chords. Uh, sometimes, like the last song, uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy, I don't really have to write out the chords. It's the same three chords for the whole song. Uh, in the exact same order, there's the same pattern. Everything. This, it's a little bit different here and there, so I'll have them, of course, all written out like I usually do. But there we are, Happy Together by the Turtles. So, it's a very cool song. I like it.